What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to go over what looked like an unfortunate incident initially that occurred at Coors Field uh, during a game between the Miami Marlins and the Colorado Rockies. So, let's get into it. All right, so now you guys probably heard the incident that happened at the Rockies game. So I'll go over it for you and tell you what people initially thought happened. The scenario plays out like this. Marlins and the Rockies are in the middle of a game. The game is 13-8 to in favor of the Rockies. They're in the top of the ninth inning with one out and nobody on base. And a 1-0 pitch is being delivered to Marlins outfielder Lewis Brinston, who is black. So the pitch is delivered, and in the midst of the pitch being delivered and the cameras rolling, the cameras pick up what sounded like a fan yelling a racial slur at Brinston. Initially, it sounded like the fan called Brinston the N-word. Now, I also want to mention, during real time, it did not look like Brinson heard the man. It did not look like Brinson acknowledged what went on behind him. He did not turn around. He did not take his focus off of the game itself. He didn't stop the at-bat to see who said what and call him out on it. It seemed very just natural to Brinson in the way his body language was. So I just want to note that. So after the game, it seems like that someone went to Brinson and said, Hey, look what I found. This happened during your at-bat. Listen to this. And he listened, and everybody else in the whole universe listened on Twitter and Instagram, and everybody thought, including myself initially, the man called Brinson the N-word. So, of course, there was obvious outrage, and of course, it was called for. Twitter was on fire. Everybody was going after this fan, saying, find this guy, ban him from baseball, ban him from a Rockies game, any baseball game, ban him for life, because it looked like like and sounded like he called Brinston the n-word and mind you Brinston is getting tons of support on Twitter all love and support MLB came out and did a statement the union came out and made a statement the Marlins came out and made a statement Paul Severino the Marlins broadcaster went out and made a statement the Rockies went out and made a statement everybody's reacting and is putting a wall a Twitter wall around Brinston to protect him and again if the fan really did say this the rages on Twitter would be 100% called for. I would be 100% behind it. I understand why people would be pissed off. But what I'm saying is, hold on, wait a little bit, do an investigation, which they did, and see if, in fact, that is what the fan really said. Now, to the Rockies' credit, they did that. They did an investigation. The MLBPA made this statement initially, before the investigation was over. They said this, quote, it is a painful reality that progress continues to be elusive in a world where ignorance and bigotry remain all too commonplace. While many are truly committed to respect and equality for all, the abhorrent racial animus display today highlights that there is still much work to be done. We have to continue to work together to ensure that racism never tolerated on or off the field. So that's what Tony Clark and the union said uh, regarding this alleged incident. And then this is what the Rockies said. It says, the Colorado Rockies are disgusted at the racial slur by a fan directed at the Marlins Lewis Brinston during the ninth inning of today's game. Although the subject was not identified, they don't know who the guy is, but they're going after him. Prior to the end of the game, the Rockies are still investigating this incident. The Rockies have zero tolerance for any form of racism or discrimination, and any fan using drugs language of any kind will be ejected and banned from course field. I like that. That's good. Okay, so everybody's going after the fan. Again, you don't know who the guy is. Everybody's saying, find the guy, crucify him, put him on a cross, and kill him. That's what they're saying. Again, I agree with that. Sure. I mean, you want to ban him? Great. Do it. I'm 100% behind that. If he, in fact, said a racial slur. But... As time goes on, and they actually do the investigation, the Rockies find that the fan did not even say what they thought he said. It wasn't even directed towards Princeton, the outfielder for the Marlins. It was a word, actually a name, directed towards the Rockies' own mascot. Bruh. The mascot's name is Dinger. Dinger. D-I-N-G-E-R. Dinger, like a home run, you hit a dinger. 
ding er. This blew up on everybody's face. Everybody just had the atomic bomb blown up in their face. And again, I'm glad it happened that way. I'm so glad that the fan didn't say anything. But again, this is what happens when you have irrational people reacting out of emotion and not logic. And I must say, I feel so bad for that fan who had to go through the probably 24 hours of hell that the trolls on Twitter put him through. Okay, now let's say... This scenario occurred a different way, with the fan allegedly saying the N-word, which he didn't. But let's say it happened that way. But let's say it happened with not Louis Brinston being up at bat. Let's say it was Trevor Story at bat. And let's say it was a white pitcher on the mound versus Story. So let's say you have a white batter, a white pitcher, a white umpire, and a white catcher. And the guy says this. I highly doubt anybody would think that the guy said the N-word because it's, it's all revolving around Brinston. So to me, the reason why this blew up and people thought that he said the N-word was because there was a black player at bat. No different if there was a black pitcher on the mound or a black catcher or a black umpire or the guy was in the bleachers in center field and Louis Brinson was playing center field or something. It's no different. It's the fact that Louis Brinson is black that people immediately went to the worst. And that's what I don't like. I don't like that people just go to the worst on these things and think what people say if a black player is up, oh, they're heckling them, they're saying something racist. That's what I don't like. To me, if the Rockies addressed it and they made it clear that that he did not say the word, then he didn't. So since we know that he did not say the N-word, I would like to see a public apology from the Rockies, from Major League Baseball, from the Union, from the Marlins, and most importantly, Brinston. I want Brinston to go out on a mic and say, I am terribly sorry for what my false interpretation caused this gentleman. I was ill-informed and made a poor judgment. And for that, I apologize, and I think they need him to apologize directly to the fan in front of the media. Lewis Brinston has the power to shut this story down by acknowledging that he was misinformed and he misinterpreted, which everybody else did too, what the man said. Also, I want to point out one more key thing that I believe is evidence that this guy did not call Lewis Brinston the N-word and was not heckling him in general. So as you can see, the fan's attention and head is not pointed towards the field. In fact, the man's attention is directed off to the right of him. And also, off to the right, you can see the Rockies mascot, Dinger, just the hair up in the upper left-hand corner of this photo. And to me, that indicates that the fan was not heckling anybody. He was, like the Rocky said, trying to get the mascot's attention from afar. Not what everybody else thought he said. So there is evidence right there that I believe proves this man is totally innocent of any claims and allegations, I guess you could say, made against him when it comes to heckling any player during that game. So like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts. There's going to be hate on this video. I know that, but I don't really care because I'm telling you guys the truth. And, you know, facts don't care about your feelings. And I'll catch you later.